I'm going to do another one here. Um, I'm from a wee place called Desert Martin in County Derry, way over at the southern end of the Spurge, near Marfelt. And we have a mountain over there. It's actually maybe famous, if anybody ever heard this song, Steve Gallon Braves. But this is, I live at the foot of this mountain, and I have a little farm there, and the river runs through it. And actually, I have a wee walk down along the river, and on different trees, I have so many poems sort of attached to the trees where people can walk along and read the poems and just enjoy nature. So this poem's about a place I call the resting place. And I dedicated it to my father because I was caught out last year on the 8th of October. He's expected to die in hospital. And I just took the notes that I'd written earlier to make up the poem because I didn't know what I was going to do that night and I just ended up I wrote these words. I didn't know where it was going to go, but I almost finished it that night. Daddy didn't die that night. He died in February this year, so here goes. It's called The Resting Place. I find myself a resting place, an old stump, derooted and left there, left there to decay, only that a few roots still remained, its lifeline to the earth have been disrupted to allow for posts and sheep and barbed wire to take its place. But hadn't made it to the fire, t'was a gift from others, a gift unwittingly donated. I would arrange and use this st stump for the wanderer's attention he could focus, could sit down in it and listen, where two streams merge, become one, united forever, as they flow on together, separate streams, the bracca and the two sides of Anuscarn. A chair I'd fit there, to that stump I'd fit it, to support that wanderer's body. I'm resting, and I'm listening, observing, contented in this near natural habitat, created many thousands, should I say, many millions of years ago. Nature working with the elements to perfect this illusion. Water tumbles past over and around, blackened, slippy, mossy and rounded stones as it cascades its way downstream at the bonding of these two rivers, the Braca and the Inniscarn, where they become united from where they flow on as one. Hay trees are full of plod, ferns and bluebells. Bluebells now dead in disarray. It's the month of June. Hawthorn petals decorate small enclosures of wetted pebbles, trapped behind raised stones, boulders molded into the riverbed. Holly leaves, twigs of ivy adorn these little pools, seemingly stone as the main river flow passes them by. But no, a circling of petals tells a tale of a minor current refreshing this pool. Petals on the surface decaying below a gravelly silt. Petals, a few still a pinky white. The rest, a crimson singed out brown, reminiscent of an exposed apple bud. I'm listening, the gurgling, rattling, soothing, exhilarating sound of water flowing over shiny brown stones, a green gold brown gravelly floor, relaxing, therapeutic, manipulating as water finds its way downstream. Bubbles, air and water perform a merry dance as they fall afoot towards the deepened pool. A pool that claims the inner scarn, where the inner scarn becomes the bracket, the bonding of two rivers from where they flow warm as one.
Trees in abundance in their various forms grow towards the ceiling in complete disarray. Blackened protruding roots with still trapped stones, robbed of the nutrients of gravel, soil and clay, once compacted around their base. Robbed by the winter storm along its banks. A million stories, a whole lot more, stand the test of time along this worn out shore. A reflection for where I sit catalogues the leaf of the ice and that of a broad-leafed imported plant bedded here some 50 years before or more and the grey of the sky on this particular day. A leaf in the current gets caught, becomes free, then caught, then free, sails as it rafts the naturally made rabbits. Rabbits not to you, not to me, but for the size of this leaf, all yellowed and alone. Beneath foliage such as the black and hawthorn, holly, briar and ash. Beneath steeply sided banks of bindweed, buttercup, bluebell and pink ragworth. Other common weeds. Flowers that are purple, flowers that are blue. Away from the sandbanks deposited before away from the sandbanks along either shore. A leaf, maybe an alder, surfing along, descends on the surface from where over the rabbits, the flow of the braca takes over the flow, takes over the waters of the sweet and its garden. That's me overnight.